Hey, Clashers, Ashley in here coming at you today talking about an epic win streak that Clark Kent, aka Superman in Elite Nation, recently had. I want to go ahead and show off his deck, so I had him share a few recent replays. Now, he has not lost in 11 matches in a row, so that's certainly a nice win streak. He said he's won a 7 of those 11. The rest have been draws. Now, this deck, you can see, is a defensive slow play safe deck. So you're going to be winning most of your matches, hopefully, but most of those wins will only actually be by one crown. You'll be winning one nothing more often than not. So let's hop right into these replays, and I should note that one of these decks has arrows and the other one has cannons, as he's just testing out the best card there. So it has the Tesla, so a good way to start every match if you have it up is just the Tesla right in the center of the map, exactly where Clark Kent, you know, let's just call him Superman, exactly where Superman placed it, because when you go on a 10 or 11, win streak you are Superman okay well 10 and 11 matches without losing okay so anyway he's playing the the also the knight in this deck that's an interesting card and the knight is actually seeing more action now with the uh, with the princess being so prevalent in the game now I should mention one other thing the musketeer in this deck is actually a placeholder for the princess if you have the princess unlocked you should be playing her where the musketeer is and that leads me to the question, what, Ash, what happens if I don't have the Ice Wizard? What do I do in that spot? Well, that's pretty easy. Instead of the Ice Wizard, just go ahead and use the Bomber, because that is a three Elixir Splash Damage unit. So use the Bomber instead of the Ice Wizard. Now let's get into the actual deck. It's full of defensive weapons. The Goblins, the Spear Goblins, the Musketeer, aka Princess, whatever one you have. It's a good defensive card. It has the, uh, the, the knight is a beautiful counter to the princess and obviously to the wizard or witch or any kind of splash damage unit or uh, DPS unit that hangs back a little bit. So let's talk about the win condition because let's be honest guys, if one of your clan mates or another YouTuber shows off or highlights a deck and they don't talk about the win condition, well you should raise an eyebrow, meaning that the most important thing to talk about when you talk about a deck is what is the win condition, what is going to be my most powerful combination to take down a tower. And in this deck, you actually have a few choices. You can use your hog in combination with a defense, with a defense and make a counter offense or you can go ahead and use your rocket if it's a really slow match to slowly chip away at a tower using your musketeer your goblins here and there to chip away as well so you really have those are your two ways you're most likely going to be winning with this deck and the idea behind the whole deck the the reason that it's successful is it's a really flexible and nice and safe defensive deck the tesla is very powerful very effective it lures away princes dark princes hogs mini pet Pekka's everything, and basically golems, Pekka's anything. It does really well against Pekka's as well. And this deck also does really well against defenses. And defenses are pretty much ruling the game right now. So it's a counter Pekka, it's an anti-Pekka deck, it's an anti-defense deck, it's an anti-mortar, anti-expo. We're going to show you all of those examples throughout the replays today. So stick with me, and we'll go over every aspect and strength of this deck, and we'll cover why Superman has been so fantastically super using the deck. So here come the minion horde. Going to use the arrows. Arrows, obviously a beautiful counter. I would advise keeping arrows in this deck instead of the fireball, as uh, you do have the rocket as well. So we have two direct damage spells: the arrows and the fire and the rocket in this deck. The rest is going to be built around these swarms of units. So a hog finally gets onto Clark Kent's tower. He uses the freeze spell, but Clark Kent knows that because he used the hog in combination with the freeze. The opponent, it must be very low on Elixir. He takes advantage of that instead of playing defense. He plays offense. This game is all about knowing how much Elixir your opponent has at all times. So if you know that, you'll pull off those wins like Clark Kent did. In this deck, it's all about picking your spots. You want to defend, and then when your opponent's low on Elixir, then you want to surge in that in that lane. So let's go ahead. Now he's going to play against a Mortar deck here. Hate Mortar decks. It's a pain to go against them, but you know what? They're, they're pretty easy to counter if you know how. So here comes the Musketeer. Playing the Musketeer, there was no Tesla in that starting hand, so he's going to start with a Musketeer instead. Really early on, Super Seb 
shows his hand, shows that he has the mortar, and Clark Kent's not going to play around here. He's going to use that rocket right away to get rid of that mortar. I'd advise doing the same. If you have nothing else, if you don't have a hog up, if you don't have a good way to take care of those mortars, get rid of them early. Even if it means using a rocket, go ahead and do so. So here we go here. Uh, just reloading right now defensively. You can see... He's going to chip away a little bit at that left tower, at least try to, using some goblins. Also forcing Seb to pull a defense there and remain in the elixir, at least a tide in the elixir, if not a small disadvantage. Now Clark goes ahead and puts that Musketeer down on the board. Musketeer is going to be kind of a lone ranger, again, just chipping away at that left tower. A lot of people would have been tempted to mount a full-scale offensive uh, push at that point in the left-hand lane, but Clark's smart. He knew he was on the elixir disadvantage. It's never a good idea to go ahead and surge offensively when you know you're at an elixir disadvantage because not only will your, will your surge fail, but also the counter-offensive from that surge will put you at a point where you're very vulnerable because you don't have much elixir to defend because you just used it all up in a surge his troops survived and he, he went and used his elixir advantage as a counter strike to you so that in a, in a roundabout way in a long long way is why he did not use the, the extra troops on top of the musketeer on that left lane earlier so let's go ahead and see what he does here barbarians in the other deck like I said this is a slow deck guys if you are an aggressive player and you can't learn how to be patient in this game not only will you not be too successful but also you should never use a deck like this because it's just very very difficult to go ahead and mount a really nice uh, a really nice offense with this deck so you have to be patient and go ahead and use your your cards defensively and be patient and then go ahead and mount an offense when you feel is the right appropriate time usually in the last minute of the match if you're good but you know it's funny in the last minute of a match is when you can really tell who the better player is because it's much easier to make mistakes both in assessing how much elixir your opponent has and obviously in managing your own hand so now is when he's going to do a little bit of a push here the, the mortar has been dropped on the right lane but super seb now is at a disadvantage elixir wise and uh, Clark Kent has a push going in both lane. So the idea with this deck is start out your hand if possible by, pl by placing a defensive unit after your elixir builds up to 10. Then what you want to do is see what your opponent does. If you have the rocket in your in your deck, in your starting hand, and your opponent plays a an elixir card that is worth four or more, go ahead and use the rocket to, to target the tower as well as that card, and then play from there. That's actually a really good opening hand strategy. Ladies and gentlemen, in the last match of the day, we're going to be playing Thank You, uh, a distant cousin of Thank You. So here we go. The starting hand is a goblins, a knight, the musketeer and a cannon he opts to start with a musketeer again obviously you're going to start with your slowest moving unit uh if you have no other apparent card to play there i would have played the tesla uh beforehand and i might have played the cannon instead but he goes ahead and opts for uh the musketeer combination and that actually works out really well the musketeer hog on that left tower then he quickly distinguishes of that expo like i said this is a great deck for anti-expo anti-mortar if you're been if you're being frustrated by the the the, uh, the mortar and the expo Expo, this is a great deck to try because it has a lot of defensive power for low elixir and that rocket so the rocket can obviously take out an expo it can take out a mortar he's going to use the rocket again here to take down that expo really quickly he's still at the elixir disadvantage but he has that tesla on the map so he's actually in my mind still at a bit of an advantage there so he's going to try again just keep chipping away at the trying to chip away at this right tower but thank you actually plays a hidden tesla of his own so now we have the uh we're gonna we're obviously watching this one in double speed that's why i'm talking so fast ah so uh, the rocket takes out that left expo again we have now the tesla and the cannon playing defense a little bit he's taken some heavy damage to his left tower but he's able to actually withstand it pretty well thanks to his cannon and that knight backing up as well now we have the hog coming in the right hand lane and just barely gets a, gets a hit off on that tower but guess what we have the rocket well played good game the winning streak continues or at least the non-losing streak continue so guys let me know if you like this where we cover one specific
specific deck, cover it in three replays, and do a little bit of a speed mode at the end. I'm thinking this might be a new format for the channel for Clash Royale. And here is the deck again if you want to copy it. It's Goblins, Cannon, Tesla, Knight, Rocket, Musketeer, the Ice Wizard, and the Hog. Again, Ice Wizard can be Bomber, and Musketeer can be Princess. Thank, thank you so much for watching, guys, and as always, take care. We don't play for fame, we don't play for cash.